Welcome back to afternoon break and happy NASCAR day. Yeah, that's a that's a real thing. It's a day set aside for drivers and fans to come together and celebrate one of America's longest pastime traditions. That's right. I sat down with Atlanta Motor Speedway's general manager to gather some insight about American stock car racing. Take a look. Brandon Hutchison, thank you so much for joining Afternoon Break. Now, as we know, NASCAR has a very lively and loyal fan base. Would you walk us through what makes this sport so special to the fans? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me today. And I tell you, I've been a part of this industry for 28 years now. And what makes it so special to our fans is the connectivity. You know, it's, it's a very patriotic platform. It's very inclusive. It's very diverse. There's a lot going on at a NASCAR event. And one thing that our fans get that you don't find anywhere else is the access to the drivers, the access to the stars. So fans can, and all fans, not just VIPs, but fans can get their way down onto the racetrack. They can sign the start finish line. They can walk through the pits. They can have a chance to see their heroes, their stars within feet of them at every single NASCAR event, whether it's Atlanta, Charlotte, Bristol, or Texas. Now, speaking of events, the All-Star Weekend is coming up this weekend. How does this event measure up against the rest of the season? What's kind of that atmosphere like? It's electric. You know, first and foremost, NASCAR racing at night is second to none. So to have the NASCAR All-Star race at night in North Wilkesboro this year for the first time since 1996, there's a lot of cool stuff going on. They've got LED lights. They've upgraded the facility so that it's extremely modern, with the exception of the racetrack itself. It's the same asphalt that they ran on in 1996. It's a different format. It's not a points race. There's a million bucks on the line. So the race held at Atlanta Motor Speedway is coming up in July, right around the corner. Now, as general manager and executive vice president, how has your venue really set itself apart from all these other venues? You know, we're in the belt buckle of the South, right? And so I try to be the most hospitable facility that any fan, crew, driver, or industry insider goes to all year long. We want to open our arms. We want to welcome people. And I think that sets us aside. Well, I'm so glad you brought up the fan experience. Is there anything missing, in your opinion, from the event experience that you'd like to see added? And, and what would that be? We work real hard to, to really turn over every stone that we can and look for experiences that are new, special, and different for our fans. And there's always something out there that we can do better. There's always something that someone's doing. We work real hard to make sure our fans have a great experience. So I am a huge open wheel racing fan. Now I know that that's different, obviously from NASCAR, but are there parallels between the two? Explain sort of bridge that gap for us. Well, absolutely. And I tell you, we ran open wheel Indy cars at mm -hmm. Atlanta Motor Speedway for a while. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, it was so much fun to watch. While there are a lot of differences in the styles of racing, to your point, there's a lot of similarities. And, and I guess the main one is they're all going for that checkered flag at the end of the race. So right. whether you're a fan of IndyCar, whether you're a fan of Formula One, whether you're a fan of NASCAR, and we certainly hope you are, um, yeah. you know, it's about the fans. It's about the experience. It's, <laughs> um, but in racing, some days you're the windshield, some days you're the bug. So uh uh, yeah, it's, it's fun to watch. I want to know, Brandon, your favorite part of the job. It's right now. It's talking to people like you. It's <laughs> making sure that we spread the awareness of what yeah. we're doing here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. You know, it's the excitement of of knowing that we're going to host the world here in just a few weeks. And the race, the race in July is going to be a lot of fun. It's a night race. And so we hope a lot of fans will come out and join us. We've been working yeah. real hard to make sure we put on a, a first class event for everybody talking about the fans do you have a specific story or something that really still sits with you that really moved you throughout your experience with nascar for years and years and years i've stood under the flag stand and there's no feeling like 40 cars coming by you at 200 miles an hour uh, packed together there's just no experience like it but yeah. more importantly 
as I walk up the grandstands every race, I have become friends with one of our fans. He's a Vietnam veteran. He is in the same seats every single race. It doesn't matter if it's cold. It doesn't matter if it's hot. It doesn't matter if it's been raining. This man is a loyal fan, a patriot to our country. And I just like seeing him and giving him a hug every single race. Such a loyal fan base. Have so much fun this weekend. Enjoy this time between now and July. Brandon, I know you're very busy. Thank you for talking all things NASCAR on this wonderful day to celebrate NASCAR. We appreciate you so much. Becky, thank you so much for the time. Come see us sometime. We'd love to have you. Sure will. I'll be front row. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you. Music to my ears. Yeah. I love racing so much. It just gives me chills. Yeah, it, it is. You know, there's something about it. Even mm -hmm. I've gone out to the old dirt track in Savannah before it closed down, and mm -hmm. hearing the cars fly mm -hmm. by you, and I can only imagine that's ten tenfold that at some of these NASCAR events. Yeah, an is, open wheel. We whoa. talked about that a lot, and it, uh, we touched on this. I couldn't include it in the interview, but we talked a lot about the athletes. There's mm -hmm. so much that these athletes are going through. I've actually driven IndyCar. I've gone up to 150. When you're taking Ooh. that G-Force, I mean, they're going up to 200, so obviously no comparison there, yeah. but uh, they have to train like you wouldn't believe, and, and it's just so amazing what they go through to put on such a great show. It's Yeah, it's they certainly are truly athletes, yeah. and that's easy to forget because mm -hmm. you don't see them. You know, they're in the car. Right, it's hard to and really, you think, oh, oh they're just sitting driving a car, but there's so much more. Into circle. It. And it is crazy, the <laughs> fandom for NASCAR mm -hmm. is something I didn't really, right. I didn't know a whole lot growing up in Ohio, mm -hmm. was never a big NASCAR guy, but when you hear, like, they pack out these stadiums. Sure there's do. more people watching these events yep. than almost any other sport, and it's just... Mm -hmm. It's why I, Andrew Gorton has been a, yes, a, a guiding has. light for, for all things it's NASCAR. It's such for a, me. Community, a community event in every way. Yeah, so a lot of fun, a lot of people yeah. looking forward to some big races this year. Mm -hmm. And speaking of cars, yeah, get ready to see some high.